day, day two in Singapore. It is windy, but the weather is actually nice. Like the temperature is not too bad. We are on our way to have some brunch, and we have many things planned for today. Starting with Fort Canning, we're gonna go to this beautiful like photo spot location, and then our plan would be to go to the Raffles Hotel, but it's going to depend on a friend that we're gonna meet later, the really talented photographer. So, anyways, stay tuned for what we're gonna do today. Bye. Cafe. We're gonna have brunch here. Middle Eastern avocado toast. That looks so good. I am so hungry. Are you ready to dig in, Erica? <laughs> Amazing. We went to Fort Canning staircase, but we made the mistake of coming too late in the morning so there was a huge line and we weren't able to take the pictures that we wanted but it's still a very beautiful place to come and see it's not as big as it seems in the pictures but it's really nice so if you guys are here make sure to come here like first thing in the morning or maybe late afternoon definitely come and see Warren McDonald's let's see what their Singapore menu is we got chili sauce and ketchup. Unlike other places, they have the pumps right there. I don't know if you can see them. So you don't have to pay extra for the sauce here in Singapore. We got a savor menu with like a good burger that is like only from here. And it has caramelized onion, cucumbers, a fried egg, and like a sauce. A little worried, but we'll see. But you know, it's worth it. New sambal morshiok. I have no idea what that means. Some fries. And I got some milo, which I think it's hot, like chocolate. And she got a jasmine tea. She looking questionable. Mm, okay, let's see how it is. It doesn't taste like McDonald's. It's interesting. It's not my cup of tea. But we're here to try things out. So we're we taint. We're going to take some pictures at Chuchiak. Thank you, Marina, for providing, <laughs> providing us with amazing wardrobe this trip. Fulfilling Erica's bucket list. Thank you. It's gonna go after home after this. In order to fill my bucket list, I need to milk a cow. So if anyone has one, let's. Now you know. Comment down below. Well guys, let me introduce you to Nicholas. <laughs> we met online on a Facebook group and he's gonna be coming to Korea to take some pictures. But since I was traveling to Singapore first, I decided to meet up with him and collaborate here in Singapore for a little bit. It's starting to rain, so hopefully we'll be able to <laughs> get some nice shoots before. <laughs> Taking pictures. Okay, well, this was an experience because it's extremely hot. Eating with Nicholas was really, really fun. It was super fun. Yeah, he's so sweet. We got some nice pictures. We got to see some beautiful places around here, like beautiful, colorful houses. And then we went to this cafe. And oh, what happened? Girls, Monica forgot to pay. We forgot to pay. Monica paid for her stuff. And we'll do the later on anyways everybody's forgot even, even, the, even the people from the cafe they literally like kicked us out because they had too many customers and they felt bad so they gave us a cake for free so we I have right here we're gonna feel so bad eating it mm -hmm. but yeah. we will eat it it started raining unfortunately this hotel is beautiful
has a very strict law when it comes to littering. So, the Raffles Hotel is one of the few places where you can actually throw your trash to the floor because they offer you a big bag of peanuts throw your shelves to the floor. Very interesting. Also, we ordered one Singapore sling, but it's extremely expensive. So, there might be other places that have it cheaper here. It's 39 Singaporean dollars, but we're here. We're gonna try it. We're gonna share it. We're gonna split it. Day three and your girl is jumping in to do a little voiceover because the noise was too loud in this video. But basically I was saying that we're going to Chinatown to get some chili crab, drop by Maxwell's Food Center again, and get some souvenirs. This looks so good. Like sauteed meat. We got three pieces for $2.60. It's like when I grab ham from Spain and make it in the pan. Like make it. It's really, really good. Oh, good. Erica really wanted to try the chili crab, and we're gonna try to find a place around here that has it. But since my sister and I don't really eat seafood, we do want to try it, but we want to have other options. So let's see what we can find. So we're gonna try Maxwell's first to see if they have it. Because the first place we went to the Chinese seafood restaurant, um, it's like super expensive. It's like eighty-eight dollars for the crab. And yeah, that was like extremely expensive for no reason. <laughs> but so, the other places we checked were like around forty something, which is like more reasonable. But we're gonna check Maxwell to see if it's cheaper. If not, we're gonna go to one of those places. Yep. Yep. Second time we come to Maxwell's food center. Let's try the roti prata. It's in the curry. Mm. That's so good. I'm gonna try Erica's chili crab. Wow, the sauce is really good. It's spicy. Can you see this? This is love. Okay? This meat right here. Wow. It's love. Yes. It's so good. Two new juices. Banana strawberry. You can never go wrong with banana strawberry. Passion fruit. It's better than the guava one. <laughs> Some more of the Hyannis chicken. It's so good. The Hyannis chicken pink and chicken broth. Some dragon fruit. So cheap, so good. Anything you can possibly imagine is there. So come and check it out.